Lollyho. <laughs> All right. As you can see, I've gotten my population up to the max it can be. I did just barely miss level, I think, 17, but 16 is high enough. Um, yeah, that's, uh, there's one item left in Blood Pool. I think it's, I don't know, it could be wheat, actually, because apparently it regenerates wheat. Um, I forgot if they still did that. So, yeah, this is our level, level 16, 23 HP, 6 MP. Uh, yeah, you can see we missed it by like 12 people, but again, 16 and up is basically the, the best place for you. If you don't get 17, don't get 18. I think there's a little 18. I want to say I've done it once, maybe? Unless 18 is perfect. 18 might be perfect. Mm, excuse me. So, I still had a bomb and an arrow left over, so that's good to know. <clears throat> um... But yeah, and these are our final scores. This is the the last of everything. As you can see, we're getting ready for death time, so... This will be the last battle. All monsters will be completely eliminated from this world. Sir Gaia, are you ready? Guys, let's do this. May luck be with you. Alright. Let's get going. You ready for death time? The final battle. Death time is a freaking boss rush. So, when I was talking about fighting bosses without using magic, this is why. Okay. Okay, come on. There we go. I don't like the Minotaur boss. Yeah, I don't like the Minotaur. I am so bad at that pattern. Plus, the enemies are faster and stronger than they used to be. So... Yep, Minotaur down. Next. Oh, look, it's the mage. Oh, this is... Ow, you butthole. Stop. Stop, uh... Not really gonna waste magic on this, even if I could kill him. Yeah, I didn't figure I'd be able to kill him before I died. The thing is, is that whenever you defeat a boss, it stays dead. Unless you lose all life. He made a mistake by doing that one first, because he hit me once, and then I was able to get the rest of the hits in. Yep, there we go. That's how you dodge that. Okay, here he goes. Need to get my distance... Okay. Alright, that's tier 2 of that, or version 2 of that boss. And as you, if you couldn't tell, it's doing the bosses of the Act 2s. So now we're gonna fight the Cassandora boss, I believe? Yeah. This one is easy. Like, super easy. Swamp the boss. Like, I'm gonna take some damage here, but that's because I'm also trying to... <laughs> it's okay, though, because he's dead. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Alright. Number four, which is technically Iatos, so now we have to fight Buer. Now, Buer is actually not the easiest boss in the world when it comes to 
um, fighting him normally without magic. Yeah, he's he's not super easy if you're not fighting him without magic. Or if you're fighting him without magic. The best way of fighting him is actually just absorb damage, lay on slayer shots, let him hit you, but do damage in return. Just like that. Um, the way I was fighting him is the way they expect you to fight him, I think, and it's very hard to beat him that way. Um, next is going to be Marana's... Uh, Marana's Spellcaster. This guy is actually kind of hard to fight. Uh, spellless. And I might use a cast or two of Magical Light. Okay, come on. Sit down here. Thank you. Okay, that's slower. Got it. It depends. If he lets me do that every time, then I'll be more than happy to let him... Okay. You can hit him if he's at his lowest. Um... Yeah, this is a long battle, but... Again, I'm saving magic for a reason. Like... A, I want to save magic for the dragon, because the dragon is really hard to pin down without magic. Uh, B, I want to save also magic for the final boss. Oh, because the final boss is a thing. I can also try to convince him to drop himself, and he's not doing it. Crap. Oh, there he goes. Darn it. Okay, you fine. We'll just do it this way. If you can actually convince him to do that, it's probably the best way of attacking him, unless... There we go. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. And finally, the Ice Dragon. I'm gonna actually not use any magic yet. I want to, uh... Ow. If I can beat him without magic, that'll be cool and all, but I don't foresee it. Right, that's magical light. Okay. Yeah, I remember magical light now. Okay. Magical aura is technically a better boss killer. Magical light is it's powerful. Yeah, oh, and you automatically get yeah, I know. You automatically get the Fire Sword ability, the Flame Waves, here. Notice that he's using Magical Stardust and even Magical Fire against us. He's copying our powers. Oh, but it's not over yet. Welcome to Tanzra. Oh, uh, so. Yeah, I can beat them. Okay, I thought so. 
The only part you can hit is that blue orb in the center. Um, as far as dealing damage to Tanzer himself. Oh, crap, I was facing the wrong way. This attack is probably the most annoying. This attack, you can dodge. Ow. Okay, I've still got two charges of magical light, so... You can do this without using magic, like, entirely. It's entirely possible to beat Tanjiro without magic. Okay. All right. Let's do this, Tanzra. Come on. Got him! All right. I can't even use my last magical light to end it. Can I use it here? This would be awesome if I could. Nope, it's not letting me. Death time clear. Well, there we go. <laughs> he heals me the last second. Sir Gaia, you have been a tireless master. With this, our current duties are complete. We have labored long and hard to help our people become free. <sighs> I do feel a bit of regret that they will no longer need our help. Let's take one last look at each one of the thriving towns we helped develop. There we, we helped develop? Ah, Angel learned English. Alright. Fillmore. This is Fillmore. <laughs> look how the people cleared and cultivated the land and constructed a prospering town. Oh yes, one of the men of Fillmore had a had the ability to predict the future. His ability helped save Fillmore. He finally gave his life for his town. I'm sure he expected that final fate. From birth, all people are guided by a force called destiny. Because people are unaware of that their destiny, they may not understand all that life has to offer. The man who quietly accepts his destiny is also the one who becomes a great leader and person.
This is Bloodpool. And the lake has already returned to its beautiful blue color. Hmm. Oh yes, there was an energetic boy named Teddy. Sir Guy and I are supposed to treat all people equally. But since he was such a likable youth, young boy, he received much of our attention. Well, to be honest, it was he also ran off and did things on his own, and yeah, we were asked to help him, so... <clears throat> oh, do you remember the people of Bloodpool who had to draw lots to the site who was sacrificed? At the time, I didn't tell you, but I knew whose lot was drawn. It was Teddy's. This is the desert town, Cassandora. Now, there is very little evidence of the des or the once massive desert. Yeah, oops. <laughs> People said they were drawn into the pyramid by its magical powers. But, should we believe this? The monsters living in the pyramid were nothing more than reincarnates reincarnates of the human slaves who built the pyramid their spirits remind remained drawing people's minds to the pyramid now the pyramid is sealed and their souls saved they will be reborn as human beings Ah, uh, Ayatos. This is the volcanic town, Ayatos. I was so impressed by these people who tried to build homes in spite of the continuous lava flow. Yeah, I'm impressed and I feel that they're very stupid, but you know, you do you guys. Their leader passed from this life right before your very eyes. I'm certain he dedicated his whole life to informing people of your existence. I hope Ayatos, I'd hoped Ayatos would become a beautiful town, represent, representative of his great spirit. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he did sacrifice himself trying to fight, even though he shouldn't have. He felt that they wouldn't have succeeded. But, eh. This is the jungle town, Marana. My, they have built so many homes in such a small island. Yeah, no doubt. I felt very sad when the town's two leaders were tempted by the wicked mirror. Mirror? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see no freaking mirror. But... Human beings have a tendency to choose the easier way when faced with difficulties. <sighs> Having seen the people's weakness, I felt obligated to lead them in the right direction. You didn't lead them, Aiden. Well, okay, you did lead them, but not after that. I was the one that had to bring them back from the temple. Don't give me that bowl. <sighs> Crosses arms angrily staring at Angel. <laughs> This is the last of our lands, Northwall. I felt a little guilty about letting people live in such a cold climate. Well, they kind of chose it, though. I mean, I may have cleared out the monsters and gave them a place to stay, but they're the ones that decided to stay here. But they successfully overcame many problems. Their two leaders were telling us that they found the two initials on the mighty tree. They felt a certain affection towards what or who had left them initials. <laughs> I think those two leaders were the sweetheart were sweethearts who had lived here long ago, but were killed by monsters. 
their spirits have since come to dwell in these bodies. If my story is correct, the sweethearts have finally reunited after a long separation. Even though they don't remember, isn't it a beautiful story? Uh, yeah, it really is, though. This being so, it seems your people, as well as yourself, have had hard times. Sir Gaia, why don't we take a look inside the shrine? Hmm. There's no one here. In former times, people would call for you and ask for your help. As cultures and lands become more advanced, do people tend to forget those who help them? Yeah, that's kind of what mortals do, isn't it? But then, people may be most happy when not in need of help from their master, or when they have forgotten him, or, or when they have forgotten him. Should we yearn for a time when people will no longer need to ask for our help? I mean, it's a conundrum. If they don't need us, they aren't praying. But if they do need us, usually something bad has happened. And massive fast zoom out. As the Sky Palace returns up away. Well, roll credits. So... While the credits roll out, I'm going to talk about the next, uh, my next, uh, project is, I'm actually going to be continuing the trilogy, um, or quadrilogy, I'm actually not sure about that word, um, if there is enough want to play Terra Enigma, I will, but you basically have until the end of Illusion of Gaia? to do so. So I'm going to start up Soul Blazer um, as soon as, you know, this finishes. Obviously not right this moment, but whenever this video gets posted, shortly thereafter, I'll probably start Soul Blazer. Well, maybe shortly before, I'll uh, start recording for Soul Blazer. But, yep, yeah, so that's going to be the next project. Um... I don't know what to say else besides that while we're watching the credits here. This is an amazing series, and even knowing how to play it, you know, even watching it be played, if you have the opportunity to play it, I highly recommend it. Um, it's a great, great Super NES title, and I really hope to see it added to the uh, the Switch, Switch's library for the SNES. It was a launch title, so it's... If they bring Axe Razor or any of the series to the... Uh, yeah, I'd even take Terra Enigma at this point. Um, on the Switch's library, I would love to see it. Um, yep, Quintet, Yuzo Kirshu, uh, Koshiro, and Enix. They... <laughs> I don't know, that. this is, uh... And of course, yeah, licensed by Nintendo. And that's the end. So, yep, that's... That is it. That is the end of Actraiser. The Master has returned to the heavens to let his people do as they need. And we won't hear from the Master again. That's not actually true. The Master's in Soul Blazer 2. <clears throat> anyway, so until next time, we'll see you in we will see you in Soul Blazer. Take care. <laughs>